Oh. Hello, hi, welcome to part two okay. of Battery Shelves from start to finish. The series where we show you the whole process of how we make our battery shelves. Today we'll be using the Kitamura. It's a CNC mill that has many features, including a very efficient one that we'll discuss later. But for right now, we're getting it all ready. Yeah. It takes some time to initially set the machine up, but once it's set up, it's easy to run over and over until we're all done so. As you can see, I'm placing the pieces in some fixtures that we made for this program. Fixturing is a way to hold each part for multiple runs. It's basically the jig that lets the machine know where to cut the final product. Tamper time. It also makes it easy to swap out pieces quickly in between runs. Now that we're all set up, it's time to do our first run. We machine the parts in a two-step process. The first step, we'll machine the corners by rounding them out and it'll drill and tap a number of mounting holes for the battery. The second step will do the same but it'll be flipped around in a different orientation that'll allow you to mount it to the battery plate to your liking. All that blue stuff is coolant that keeps the drills and end mills from overheating. For every run on the machine, we have two complete parts and two in-process blanks that will go in for another round and come out completed. So now we'll spray off the parts and deburr the in-process blanks so that they can go back into the machine for their second round. We'll also deburr the completed parts to get them ready for the tumbler. Deburring is necessary because during the machining process, the drilling leaves some metal fragments, and we just want to get rid of them so the finished product is nice and smooth for you. Remember how I said that this machine is super efficient? Well, that's because it's got two pallets. While I'm deburring and getting one pallet set up, we've got another round of parts running on the second pallet that's in the machine. And now it's a race to beat the machine before it's time to swap pallets. We'll repeat this process until we're out of blanks. And there you have it, our completed battery shelf that is now ready for the tumbler. Stay tuned for part three.